It's good to be with you on this Wednesday. And today, as we think about the pushback against Bible Christianity, the, just the surge forward under Satan's power of humanism and the moral revolution and many other ideologies that come out of an evolutionary worldview, as we think about that and, and feel sometimes intimidated by it, I want to encourage you that the Apostle Paul did not let himself get intimidated. He could have been. He was in prison at times. He was beaten, stoned, left for dead. But he knew spiritually that Satan was a, and is a defeated foe and that the power of the gospel could overcome all the things that are going on in the world. Remember, the Apostle Paul was in a very humanistic pagan world. In fact, most of the places had not had much of a Jewish influence, so they didn't even have a Jewish background. And so all they had was the paganism from centuries. And yet he would go into those kinds of places and have enormous results because he believed that God would work. We're familiar with verse 16, and I want to back up to verse 15 of Romans chapter 1. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. Rome, the seat of imperial power. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. What a tremendous statement. And he proved it out. He saw Jews saved. He saw the Greeks and the Greek culture, the Roman culture, the barbarians, as he mentions them earlier, the European uh, people that had come down and many others. He had seen people groups reached with the gospel in a mighty way. He knew that no matter how powerful the world system was, when he would trust the Lord and pray and seek the Lord's face, the gospel could overcome all of that. And friends, we need to realize the gospel will work today. But when we're not giving the gospel and we're not living truth and we're not speaking truth, well, then we're going to get overwhelmed. It's going to be like a wave just coming over us. <clears throat> but when we stand there with our hand up to heaven, trusting him and being willing to be a servant of the Lord, then we realize God can do a mighty work. So I do want to encourage you today, speak out for Christ. Not only does it need to be done, but it'll encourage your heart in this dark world.